Nestled among the Ozark Hills of southern Missouri are the cool, clear, spring-fed waters of the current river. Today, it's one of the top destinations for recreational floaters who use canoes, kayaks, and rubber rafts to make their way downstream. But years ago, this river and others in the area were known for a different type of float, one that traces its roots back to Missouri's tall timber. In the late 18 and early 1900s, the region was the site of great activity. Railroad ties and lumber produced from the Ozark forests helped develop the nation. Lumber for growing cities and ties for the railroads stretching across the plains. It was a time when the Ozark forest meant jobs, back-breaking manual labor for men with few other options. Between livestock and, and timber, that's about all there was. Trees were cut, and many times, railroad ties were created on site. Tie hackers, as they were called, earned 10 cents for each tie produced. They could hew a tie in about one hour. But getting the wood to their destination was no easy chore. Well, you have to remember that there was no roads that was other than wagon trails back then, so the river was their main uh, way for transportation. Many ties and logs were moved by a river drive to the nearest railroad crossing or sawmill. Some of the larger river drives contained more than 250,000 free-floating ties and took months to complete. Another method was to attach ties together to form a long raft. They free-floated uh, logs and ties both, but uh, the main uh, thing down here on ties is uh, they would nail them together with lash poles. That's saplings about uh, three or four inches through, uh, 20 feet long, and uh, raft as many as uh, uh, 1,200 ties down the river. The men working these drives were called river hogs. They were wet for weeks on end for $1.75 a day. It was not a job to be envied. When the drive reached the railroad crossing, men, teams of horses and mules, and wagons would be standing by to pull the ties from the river and carry them to waiting railroad cars. 